Hello, my YouTube family and friends. Sorry it's been so long. I'm a little preoccupied. I love the snow. I live in California, but I love to snowboard and I've been doing it a little too much lately. So getting back to business, I also want you to know I am going to eventually, I have so much in here that I want to get to you guys, but the editing is like watching paint dry. So I finally found somebody to edit the videos and help me pump them out a little bit quicker. Today I want to do a video to better explain the bleach for my silver transitioners. Because whether you're doing it yourself or your hairdresser, I constantly, especially the hairstylist, constantly seeing posts. My stylist said I couldn't get it light enough. My stylist tried, but she couldn't. My stylist did it, but my hair is blonde. Unfortunately, my industry is so undertrained. Hair is not creative. If I could teach that one thing to all of you, it's why I can teach you. Hair is science. We are humans. Just like when you go to the doctor, they cannot treat your cancer the Mexican way or the African American way or the Egyptian way. Whatever it is, we just have to take care of your body for whatever you have. It's the same in hair. What changes, yes, if I am African American, more than likely I have overly curly hair, but they don't all have the same overly curly hair. You just have to decide what hair you have and go with that. It's the same for the bleaching. If I have baby fine hair, if I have overly curly hair, it's going to be easier to bleach out my hair. If I have bone straight, healthy, thick hair, it's going to be harder to bleach out my hair. If I've been putting light color on my hair, it's going to be easy to remove that color off of my hair. If I've been putting an incredibly dark color on my hair and I've been putting it over and over and over again, it's going to take longer to lighten my hair, but still not impossible. It's just going to take longer. When it comes to bleach, there is absolute science to the bleach. And if you do not follow the science, you will not have success. So let me tell you about some simple bleach science tips that you must do in order to get the hair light enough. And whether it's you or your stylist, if they don't follow these rules, you will not get your hair light enough. Rule number one, the mixing. We cannot mix too much because if the lightener stays in the bowl longer than 15 to 20 minutes, it starts to lose its lifting ability. So you have to mix up just a little bit at a time. On the stylist side, they love to mix up a big bowl so they don't have to keep going back. When what they really should do is just have the lightener and the developer here at their station so they can quickly mix a little bit at a time and constantly be putting fresh bleach on the highlight. The next thing is the consistency of the bleach. Too thick, the hair can't absorb it. Too thin, it, it doesn't have enough strength to lift the hair. When you first mix bleach, you're gonna mix powder and developer, and you mix it up to about pancake consistency and maybe a slightly thinner. After just a few seconds, about 30 seconds, it's a chemical and it sets up and then it thickens up. Once it thickens up, you're gonna add a little bit more developer to thin it out. I added some more developer and now it's perfect. It's thick still, but it's not so thick that it doesn't fall from the brush. If it falls from the brush like water, it's too thin. If it clumps, it's too thick. Too thick, it can't absorb. Too thin, it doesn't have strength. The next thing, this is where the hairstylists really mess up. And possibly you if you do it yourself quantity in the foil. I cannot stress enough. If you put too much hair in the foil, it will cause so many problems. But the biggest problem that it will cause is you will not get the hair light enough because all of the hair is not getting saturated in the way that it needs to in order to get the hair light enough. I taped some hair on the foil so you could see. Do you see how that as close as I can and hopefully it still has 
if I take all this hair now see the difference see how dark that is lots of people would think that's okay to paint at that at that amount of hair clumped together but that hair will not get saturated it's too thick it's too clumped together you have to have it thin so now you can see how i can see the foil through the hair it's such a thin amount now when i paint that hair it's going to completely get saturated the other reason for this is the line of demarcation there will be times when we can get away with not putting such little amounts of hair. But when it comes to the most important thing is that you want it to get light enough, you can't have too much hair in the foil. I don't care where the hair, the foil is gonna be placed because I call it the Cheeto method. There's ways that we can get in there and put a lot of hair in the foil and it doesn't matter because it's gonna be in the back and buried. But I still have to get the hair light enough so that it's still gonna be silver or it, my blonde girls will complain too that their hair was left brassy by the stylist. Brassy blonde highlights are hair that is hair that didn't get light enough. That's the truth. So whether you're trying to transition to silver or have a correctly blonde highlight or a correct brown highlight, by the way, with the bleach your hair out correctly. Once the hair is in the foil, here's another area where it's, you can go wrong or your stylist can go wrong. The application you need to apply but when you apply you want to do a couple things at the line of demarcation you don't want to have a hard straight line so when you take the bleach off that's the line of demarcation you're gonna have is a hard line make it more natural by make it making it jagged that's number one the other thing about the after the jaggedness is you want to make sure that the when you apply, you're rolling it back and forth, back and forth. Because believe it or not, even though I have a thin amount of hair in the foil, the hair on the back side of the hair shaft is not getting colored, is not getting bleached if I don't roll it back and forth. And then the next thing is quantity. If you don't put enough, I mean, you have to saturate this hair. I'm going to break up those ones that I had clumped together. You can't put a little amount of lightener. There needs to be a fat amount. It needs to be like a thick coating of mayonnaise. So now you can see that I have a really thick coating of lightener. There has to be a lot of lightener in there or it's not getting saturated. The other thing is a lot of times when you're coming out of artificial color, you are lighter here, darker, and then really dark. Same for the application. You need to have a lighter application, a heavier application, and an even heavier application down here. Because if you apply the bleach the same, if you apply it thick to the area that's already light and thin to the area that's dark, the area that's light is gonna get extremely light and the area that's dark is gonna stay dark. Quantity matters on the color of the hair. Lighter, less amount, darker, more. The next thing is the folding. Hairdressers love to fold. They have like pride in all this folding. The folding gets in the way of the, light, of the lightning of the hair. So you can't fold the foil. Now if you're wanting to fold it a little bit to secure it, you could just do this. That's all you need to do, but not the 40 folds that the stylists do. The other reason why you can only have a little amount of hair at the line of demarcation is because if you take in too big of an amount, so let's say I do a big chunk of hair. When I take the foil packet out, it doesn't blend nicely here. It looks like someone took a blob of paint and just um, stuck it right here. Thin slices or thin weaves 
create a nice natural blending of your natural color and the old artificial color. Skinny slices or skinny weaves. The next area where you can go wrong or the stylist can go wrong is taking the foils off too soon. I have a lot of you tell me you put the foil on for 30 minutes, got nervous and took it off. I completely understand that. That's why I encourage you to do a strand test. Bleach and correct bleach can be left on the hair for hours, two to three hours, depending on the head of hair. If I have an overly curly head of hair, like an African-American woman, I, I can't leave the bleach on their hair that long because their hair immediately gets penetrated. They have very little outside layer called the cuticle, which is the protective layer of our hair. When you have overly curly hair, you have very little cuticle. So the bleach is able to penetrate the hair very quickly. So not only can I not leave it on the hair for two to three hours, but I wouldn't need to. Their hair lightens so fast. On the polar opposite side of that is my Guatemalan, those super healthy, straight, dark heads. Your hair can take bleach for hours and usually needs it because we first have to get through that cuticle layer and then we have to start removing the hair color from the hair. Everything depends on what it's going on, but this is where I say hair has a science. All of you are smart enough to know what kind of hair you have. You know if you have really strong hair. You know if you have really weak hair. You all even tell me. You're like, oh yeah, my hair can't take a lot. Exactly. That's why we do the strand test. It's going to tell you exactly how long you can leave the foil on and you will never have to worry about over-processing your hair because you can have a roadmap for what you're actually going to do. Another thing the strand test can do, for those of you that have a stylist, is you can prove to your stylist your hair can get light enough. Then you can just maybe do the strand test and have them do all the work okay we cannot take the foils out too soon when do we take off the bleach you take off the bleach when it's light yellow but not dark yellow and a lot of people misunderstand the difference take a highlighter and look at one highlighter to the next you can even find a difference in depth of color in highlighters i want you to go to light yellow because dark yellow with bleach on it, once we wash it off, is actually usually yellow-orange, and yellow-orange is the kiss of death when it comes to a correct blonde highlight or to transition to silver, or even the brown highlight for the blonde, or for the brunette. I love lots of dark heads that want a nice light brown highlight. We have to do, all of us have to get to the same, we have to get to light yellow in order to receive the correct color. Otherwise, there's too much orange in the hair, and orange is not good when we're trying to have a neutral tone of color or an icy cool color, but to get the orange out of the hair. Take the hair all the way to light yellow before you take the foils out. If you were someone who had the, the super straight hair, super dark hair, you may have to reapply the bleach before you take it out. Like this. This is that foil I did for you guys. It's still very wet because it's only been a few minutes. When you open it up, and also it hasn't really lightened much because it's what we call a cold shaft. There's no heat being applied to this. When you open it up after an hour or two, you really dark heads, and you can see it's not really doing much anymore, you will need to reapply. And by the way, it won't look wet like this. It'll look dry because the foils are not airtight. So while we use the foils to keep the bleach from drying out because Dried out bleach stops processing. They're not airtight. So after an hour or two, they are going to start to dry out. If you're dark heads, you need to get back in there and reapply. Mix up a new batch of bleach, take off the top foil, and reapply to the areas that are no longer lightening. You might be plenty light enough here. Leave it alone. Only reapply to the areas that are no longer lightening enough. And then you can get back in there. Now it's been on for a couple hours and you want to give it some a little bit of help to some heat. You can use your flat iron or a diffuser on your blow dryer, but only apply heat to the stuff that is still not light enough. So in this case, if it was just your ends, just tap the ends or just put the diffuser to the ends. Don't put it up here where you're light enough. Quick recap. 
not too much bleach, not too thick, not too thin, not too much hair in the foil, correct saturation, roll it back and forth, lighter on the lighter part of the hair, more and nice and thick on the dark part of the head, taking the foil off too soon, we've got to make sure we get it all the way to light yellow. Light yellow is what we need to achieve a correct blonde highlight, a correct brown highlight, and definitely the silver highlight. We've got to get all the orange out of the hair. Thank you for watching, subscribing to Julie the Therapist. I really appreciate all of you. Have a great day.